Hello, everybody. Um, doing something out of the box today. Looking, first time doing some Town Hall 8 raids or war attacks. Um, I'm Town Hall 9. My channel's focused on Town Hall 9, but I'm leaving a whole section of my clan out. So uh, I want you guys to realize there's more than drags. Um, go wipe. Ugh. I don't like go wipe at any level of town hall, so you don't have to do drags. And here's some outside the box ideas. This this pattern here, um, commonly called with this tight upper area and these two pinchers down here. A lot of people would call this a crab. Um, as you can see, that kind of looks like a crab. What I just drew. Um, I know one person has made it called the Southern Teaser. That's where it's just all stacked up here, and it's open right here. So, either way you want to call it, it's a base you see at Town Hall 9 for the most part. I I don't remember ever running into it at 8, except this war. Mitch here came up with a great idea, and he does it like you do a Town Hall Town Hall 9 attack. So, let's go over it here. Uh, great job, Mitch. You know, everyone now is starting to come along in the clan, and there's other ways to... to shred a base if you will uh, you can see he's got a golem I believe he's got a max golem and a CC he's got 16 hogs those hogs are if you look up north how these are set each separate cell great hog attacking there's no space even between these if these uh, mortars are pushed over a little bit more say there's probably spring traps in those so be careful there's not so it's a great great way to attack it's probably got um, air balloons in there, spring traps, I guarantee it's probably got Teslas here, looks like a spot for double bombs, possibly a Tesla out here, that's where they usually keep them, and uh, could be bombs on the outside as well. So what he's going to do is bring his, his uh, golems in, like a start of a go wee wee, or go wipe wee, that's what he's doing with uh, his P.E.K.K.A.s. You know, instead of bringing in, wasting, I believe, P.E.K.K.A.s, 25 troops, you're wasting 50 spots on those P.E.K.K.A.s. I would say bring more hogs. Cancel out the P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, oh, he brings, he only brings one golem. That's right, he brings witches in here. That's probably why he's bringing the P.E.K.K.A. for the stopping power. Either way, it works. So, brings his golem in. Um, you break your funnel once your troops are firing or the defense firing, always remember to break that funnel, guys. Break it deep. And uh, when you're setting your funnel up, you know, and let's say you've sat your golem down here, so he's taking all your fire, don't set your funnel up so you put wizards here first and then wizards out here. So what's going to happen is once these wizards kill this, they're going to start marching out. And if you set a hero down here, well, it has nothing to target. So say all this is gone, and these are gone by wizards and your golem. Well, what's the closest target? Probably way out here. So that's where your hero is going to go. So what you want to do is leave an anchor point inside. You know, leave like this building. Set down a wizard to cut your funnel out here. And out here, boom, start that break. And then work your way inside with your funneling. Funnel in, not funnel out. So I see a lot of people do that mistake. So it sets down his anchor point, gets his troops in here, clears out that, and then he's going to come back door and hog it. Pretty simple. See it at Town Hall 9 a lot. Here's it at Town Hall 8. Great job, Mitch. Let's take a look at it. So he comes in tight with his king at first to get rid of that king so he doesn't butcher his uh, golem. That could be one way of doing it, but I believe he loses his king. So, forgets to set his spell. Drops a, drops a rage. So, already, I want to point this out. You're probably saying to yourself, this is going like garbage right now. He put down a rage on top of his golem. He didn't hit his king. I want you to know, guys, this update has screwed up people. So, I guarantee he didn't try putting down his rage there. He probably tried hitting his king ability. Couldn't start tapping everything. Probably tried putting down his CC. Nothing was going down. Um, I don't know what it is with this new update. Any feedback from you guys? People, other people having trouble? Everyone's experiencing this 
just lack of control. You, you're not able to get your troops out. So yeah, finally brings in his witches, puts up those skellies to start distracting everything, like the CC. Brings down some wizards to help kill that drag off. The drag's focusing on all the skellies, which is great. Then he brings his hogs from the north, so sets them on each of the three defenses, allocates them differently, puts down his two heels for the hogs. Hogs mop up those north defenses under full heel. So they run down south, and as his troops work in to draw the fire from everything, his hogs will, will eat them up. You can see one bomb spot went off exactly where I said. Um, possibly another one behind it, or he put the other two over here. And there you found the other bomb spot. So that kills off his, his hogs. But he's got a lot of troops left, and... As the hogs ate up all those defenses, so you're not really worried about them eating through your troops. There's just that one cannon left. So there you go. Um, like I said, you see that base a lot. Everyone wants you to fully commit down through here with all your troops. You don't have to. Remember, there's a way to go over the walls. Pretty simple. Eat through all those troops with hogs. Um, does it well. So, good job, Mitch. Town Hall 8, so I'm not leaving you out anymore. So, there's a great attack. Great example. Don't get your king eaten up. I think I remember him putting this down. He said he meant to throw his golem down, not his king. But the troop never switched. So, once again, thank you, new update. See you guys next time.